These are my ladybug cherry tomatoes and they're my favorite tomatoes. They taste like a cross between green table grapes and a strawberry. Here I'm getting some red ripe ancho peppers. Roma tomatoes. Here's more Romas. I've got a uh, orange sweet mini bell peppers. And these are my brandy wine tomatoes. Corno de Toro. Bullhorn, Italian bullhorn pepper, finally turning red. Some more big ones right there. And I've got some new zucchini plants started. Here's my big Roma tomato plant. Got some cucumbers. My collards and dino kale, some uh, Swiss chard, more lettuce and Egyptian spinach. Back here are two honeydew melons. Where I bought a honeydew from the store and I planted some of the seeds and they sprouted so it'll be interesting to see if they produce a nice honeydew melon. Here I've got more lettuce and greens that I just started and I still have my monster turnips and surprisingly they're still edible when they get this big. I've been picking them out one by one slowly takes like three or four days to eat one of these things. I'll chop it up and mix it in a salad. My beans are starting to grow. And weird thing, this right here are Roma pole beans and I haven't had one single flower or bean yet. I'm hoping that they start to flower soon. I had uh, some rattlesnake pole beans right here. This foot and a half of beans produce maybe like 200 or more beans and then they kind of fizzle out and they start producing like little tiny ones. And I, pl I just planted like new ones, new rattlesnake beans. But I cut them right at the base here so I can, and I'm gonna let them shrivel up so I can tell which ones are the rattlesnake ones so I don't accidentally take out some of these Roma beans but I'll chop these up and remove them from the trellis here in the next couple days. Here's my front bed with the onions, some lettuce and Swiss chard and different types of basil and I have my big huge cherry tomato plant and I had to put a uh, tomato cage on top of that other cage because it's probably like eight feet tall now. I've noticed like up here in the front it's kind of isolated so I don't get as much um, fertilization on the tomatoes. There's only like half of them on the branches actually turn into tomatoes. Thanks for watching.